So this guy here is the American DJ Wi-Fi Anyone, and it's a DMX controller with a difference. You don't really need to do any programming. The controller really simplifies DMX control, making it easy and fast to create the looks you want. Let's start by taking a look at the hardware. The entire controller is metal and feels really high quality. It's small and compact, but very powerful. On the back, you have a single DMX output with your power input and on switch. In addition to that DMX output, the NE1 features American DJ's Wi-Fi technology, meaning you can connect to your lights wirelessly. On the front you have all your controls, mode buttons, function buttons, encoders, memory buttons, strobe and dimmer faders, and a nice high resolution screen. You also have a USB port to load your different fixture profiles onto the desk. All the buttons are backlit, and along with the encoders, the controller feels really nice to use. I'm not going to go in much detail about how you use this controller, because I've got an entire series of tutorial videos coming up, which you can check out at this playlist here where I'll go through the process of patching your different fixtures, setting up the desk, and learning how to control your different lights. However, it's as simple as selecting your lights in the fixture mode, then going through the other modes to select your color, gobo, even add an effect. You can even access the built-in shows from your ADJ light fixtures through the controller. You can control pan and tilt through the encoders to position your lights precisely where you want them. You can even really easily strobe all your fixtures using the strobe button and rate fader. The Wi-Fi Anyone can support up to 12 different fixtures. If you want to use more than that, consider using the same DMX address. For example, if you've got a load of LED parkans running around your venue for uplighting, set them all to the same DMX address and then control them all through a single fixture on the NE1. You can download a whole load of fixture profiles for the NE1 from the American DJ website and you can even download the fixture creation software to create your own fixture profiles for your other lights. Simply copy the files onto a USB stick and load it straight into the NE1. There are no complicated sub-menus, it's just very easy to navigate. It's really easy to control your lights through the mode and function buttons along with the encoders. Once you've created a look you like, you can save it onto one of six memory buttons here, and you've got two pages giving you 12 different memory slots in total. So what are my thoughts on the NE1? I think it's a great little controller if you're looking for something simple and basic to take control of your lighting. The ability to just go in and select your color, select your gobo, select an effect, it's really fast and intuitive. If you're someone who likes to take full control of their DMX lighting and build lots of different cue lists with small sequences and very complicated and detailed effects, then maybe the Wi-Fi light anyone isn't for you. Maybe you should go for something like MyDMX 2.0 or some kind of software alternative. However, as I said, it's designed to be simple. It's designed to be easy and that's exactly what it is. If you're someone who's relatively new to DMX or just looking for that simple solution to control your lighting, the Anyone is the answer. To get a better understanding of exactly how the Anyone operates, as I said earlier, you can go check out my full tutorial videos on the Anyone by clicking on the annotation in the corner there. If you want to find out more information about the Wi-Fi Anyone, I've included some links in the description to both the American DJ website and the Anyone support group on Facebook. But that's it for this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.